So today we're here with Mr. Ian Allison, master of tone, or maybe not. Oh, we'll God. have to wait and see. No. Because today we have got 10 of the greatest rock bass tones you've ever heard. And we are going to challenge Mr. Allison here to recreate these tones. And he's got two minutes to do it for each tone. What are you going to be using to do this, Ian? Okay, I've got Show a... Show me your tools. Yeah, I've got an HX stomp with a blank canvas. You could use pedals at home if you want to play along. Uh, but I know this platform really well. But I asked, can I use some presets? Scott said, are you kidding me? Absolutely not. Yeah, so we're not saying, oh, you need to go get a HX stomp at all. Ian's going to be talking about this and saying, hey, I'm using a distortion at this point in the signal chain. I'm using right. a chorus at this point in the signal chain. So if you want to use pedals at home to do this, you absolutely can do. Right. We've also got a jazz bass. We have. P bass. we got a few basses back here. Stingray. Stingray. You might want a stingray. <laughs> Who knows? Really? really? You don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Are you ready for the first one? I hope so. Are you guys ready? Let's jump in. Okay. Huh? Okay, so it's Rush, obviously. It's Getty it's Lee. Rush. Hey, look, I mean, this is this is interesting. I'm holding a jazz bass. Yeah. These are the, like some of the best rock bass tones you've ever heard in your life. So you will have heard these tracks before, but he doesn't know what's coming, and neither do you. Before we start the timer, I just tell you how much I love Getty Lee. I love his sound. That's why I wanted to kick yeah, off with man. this. Yeah, man, it's so yeah. cool. It's changed throughout the years, and I. I mean, I feel like I have an idea of what he might be using. Um, already got the jazz bass. I mean, the timer's not already running, is it? No, not yet. You're going to let me know, Gav? But okay. I'm not giving you a lot of time before you start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two minutes starting now. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to look for a distortion, I think here. I'm going to go down because I know he uses a sans amp, actually. So that's going to be, I'm going to try to pull up this sans amp sound. Ooh, that's oh, ooh. not enough. Oh, I need more. It's kind of drivey. Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to just maybe dial back the treble a touch. And okay, so also it's about his hit, right? It's about, right? Did you just do it in about 20 seconds? <laughs> Was that it? So, like, give me, like, treble, bass, mid, I mean, what's going on? I, I just kind of started to dial. Uh, it didn't feel bright enough or drivey enough in the beginning. I turned the drive almost all the way up. I left the bass where it was, I left treble where it was, I turned up presence, and then there's a blend control, right, that blends between clean, yeah, which is pretty sad sounding at the moment, and then this blends in the circuit. Yeah. Oh, I want more. So a lot of times what I'll do too is I'll tap a note over and over to sort of hear how the high end is reacting. Yeah. Ah. It's something like that. Both pickups on? Both pickups on. That's a Getty thing for sure. Yeah. It's not this. It's not rear pickup. It's not neck. Both pickups on. And look, so much of this is about his strike, yeah. right? It's about hitting the bass. Should we hear Getty? Are you <laughs> yeah. guys ready? We're going to listen to Getty? Then you're going to play, and you need to vote. Oh, God. Did he do it? Did he not do it? Let us know in the comments. Here we go. Oh, that was a great line. Jeez, dude. For me, I'm giving a hard pass. Yeah. What about you guys? <laughs> yes, oh. pass. Everybody's a pass. The crew thinks it's a pass. Yeah, I'll let us know it. in the comments. Is it a pass? Okay, so now take it back to ground zero. It. Everything back to normal. I kind of like this, though. You, I have to get rid of it? Everything. Yeah, everything. All back right. to ground zero. Right. You ready for the next one? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Clock's not going yet, right? Okay. Here's the deal. Obviously, Pink Floyd, Money. Yes. Roger Waters yes. on bass. Yes. P bass. Pick. Dead rounds or flats. I don't know. 
but I'm gonna go palm muted rounds with a pick. But here's the thing, I feel like it's also playing a little, there's something else playing on top. Sounds like a guitar. If I were doing this live, yeah. I have an idea of how I would like try to get that combined sound if I didn't have a guitar so player. Do you want the bass in your hand before we start? No. Okay, you how ready? How about that? Two minutes, Yeah. starting now. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a P bass with rounds. I still hate that you swap the necks on these, but there you go. Sexy looking bass, dude. <laughs> no, it's an incredible bass. Uh, first of all, right, like P bass sound with a pick. Uh, right? Okay. Yeah, now yeah. it's not there, right? So maybe what I'm gonna do. Oh, geez, got to do it quick. Oh, come on, Allison. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on a little bit of amp emulation. Mm -hmm. Why are we doing that? Because it's going to make it sound a little bit more rock and roll, right? It's going to make it like sound... Like it's not a yeah. DIY. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to put on... Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Jacking it up. And then... Okay, so let's see if that's even a little bit closer. Too drivey. It needs to be cleaner. Feeling this. You feeling that two minutes just disappearing here? Yes. Huh? <laughs> Still too drivey. Damn it. I maybe made the wrong choice here. Um, that's all right, that's all right. I like the character of that. Now, to emulate that guitar thing on top, this is extra credit, dude. I'm gonna find <laughs> a- After some extra points? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna find an octave up sound and I'm gonna blend it in just barely. It's like, this is too much. Way too yeah. much, sounds cheesy. So I'm gonna go at 20%. Close, I'm gonna go back just a little bit down. I'm gonna turn the whole thing up a tiny bit. Hear that subtle octave on top? Yeah. I'm really excited about playing this again, see so if you did it. Oh, are, are you ready? Is that, you called it? Let me hear it one more time. Where's the timer at? Oh, it's at two minutes? Okay, I'm good. Okay. Uh. It's freaking close, man. It's close. It's no, but close. I hear, there, there's like a, a to the notes that does is read it like mid? flat. Is it the mid? Yeah. Something in the mid. You guys be the decider. Oh, in the comments, just let us know. Fail me. Did don't he, give me. Did don't, he get it? I don't want any pity votes. Fail me in the comments. You ready? For, you ready for the next one? I gotta zero this out. Zero it out. All right. Dude, try and get that. Oh. You know the track? No. What? I mean, I've heard of the Stranglers, but I've never yeah. heard this. Oh, wow. I'm gonna give it you again then. I thought you would have heard this. I'm gonna give it one more time. Shoot. Listen up, guys. Oh. There's no way I can get close to that vibe. Oh, with, 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 no, 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 Without doing like amp emulation, right? That's cool. So, but here's the problem. I don't have in my mind of like, oh, that's a this kind of sounding amp. Like I'm gonna have to scroll till I find something that I'm like, maybe this this kind of thing. And it's, dude, it's brutal. Two words, dude. Two minutes. <laughs> I know. Two minutes. <laughs> oh. I, I, do you want to start with the P bass? I think we'll Yeah, let's... definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna play P bass. Definitely rounds. I yeah. wish that the rounds were a little more dead. Like I wish I had some peanut butter, yeah, dude. These are, I'd like rub it. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. man, get chicken that. grease. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it is what it is. I'm gonna try to find that like mid-rangey amp character. Yeah. This is a tough one. Uh, Two minutes. Yeah. Starting now. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna dive into amps. I have a feeling I wanna use like a guitar amp, actually. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna actually go guitar. And what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to find something that feels... Okay. 
you are good. Not as drivey. I want that mid range. Ah. I'm gonna go with that. That's called Voltage Queen. I've never used this before. But a little more drive. I want you it a can, little. You can have a second listen if you. Well, a third or fourth listen if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of some treble. Ah, I would need more. I want to turn up the sag. It's still too bright. Maybe I can try to deal with that with the speaker. So many damn options. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hard. Okay. Don't worry, there's not a timer going. Oh my God, where are we at in the timer? 15. What, 15? I like this. I don't know if it's the right thing. You want to hear it again? No. No? Let me just try a little more here. I'm going to turn the treble down even more. Oh. I wish I had mid-range. Hmm. If I had it to do all over again, Scott Devine. <laughs> well, you don't. Uh, I know. Oh, count me down from 10 when it gets there, guys. Crew, count me down from 10. Oh, interesting. I'm changing the mic position. It's getting a little bit less bright. Ah, one more thing. Let me try a little bit of low cut. High cut. <gasps> Oh, it's so mid rangey So cool. Okay, hang on. Oh. You it, know, it's that, oh, it's missing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh. So if you had more than two minutes, which you don't, <laughs> what else would you do to this to get? Mm. To get a little I would closer. Probably start searching through more amps, more amp sounds to see if I could get it closer. I discovered at the very so end. So can you not just go and just crank the mid? No, there's, on can't. this amp, there's no mid control. There you go, guys. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, I started to realize, oh, there's a high cut on yeah. here at the very end. I brought that down. I also brought in the um, the speaker position a little off the center of the cone to sort of darken. If somebody wanted to do this kind of stuff, particularly with this like, amp modeling, they haven't got a HX stomp, mm. what should they be looking at to do that? You, you tell them and, and bring up the next track. <laughs> if you don't have a multi effects, I think actually just experimenting with miking up an amp. There is a lot of information out there of like, oh, you shouldn't use a guitar amp for bass, but absolutely you can. All those classic rock sounds of grindy bass. I mean, we're talking Lemmy, talking Chris Squire. They're using guitar amps, Marshalls. So don't feel like you can't use that. Sometimes you might need to blend it with clean to retain your low end, but experiment with amps that you have. Borrow friends' amps. Do are there think any pedals that do it though? I mean, well, yes, but it's all multi-effect. Like you said, if you don't have an HX stomp, I mean, there's other platforms, Quad Cortex um, by Neural DSP. There's Fractal, there's Kemper. Um, there's probably simpler options. I think this is actually one of the most simple Well, the, who are the guys that do the pedals in the UK? Origin? Origin effects. Yes, Origin. Origin effects do some sort of like simple, yes. like standalone pedals that have amp, they do amp modeling kind sounds. of stuff. They do the SVT, they Absolutely. do the Fender, Fender bass man. Yep. Let's check them out. Hey, if you can't get enough and want more gear, check out my gear deep dive. I do it every Wednesday exclusively on SBL's live class. Links in the description. See what it is. I hate that you're making me do this. The, the patch that he put together for this is called Good Luck, Allison. <laughs> and don't forget, we want to be hearing from you guys as well in the comments. Every single track. Did he pass? Did he fail? Oh, I'm so bad. This is brutal. You ready for the next one? <laughs> no! Here we go. Yeah. Strap in. <laughs> Clipper. Metallica. Metallica. Obviously. Yeah. I know this bass line. I've tried to get this sound with other things before, but not successfully, I feel like. Just drop the hour, you dude. Oh. <laughs> okay, I know, I know I want bridge pickup rounds. Yeah. Uh, I, I got, I, I'll, I know what I'm going to grab. Can, you can get it now. Oh, I can? Oh, without the timer going? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crew, is this allowed? Yeah. 
Yeah. We let him do it on the first one, right? We'll let you do it on the first okay, one. Okay, so I have a new bass. You want to hear how lame this sounds without any sound? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Are you ready? No. These guys are ready. Set. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to find a marshal. I'm going to find a marshal, first of all. Amp and cab. I'm scroll. Oh, God. Wasting time. Are you fingers Amp and cab. Fingers I know. Sweaty. Yeah. Am I slipping? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I don't even know what they call the marshal in here now. JCM, maybe? Or... Oh, my God. And he's playing fingers. That's not bad. Essex's box. God, what do they call the Marshall? What do they call the Marshall? British? Oh no. I don't think Siri's got this. <laughs> hey Siri. I like the other one. It's interesting that amp modeling is such a part of this process. Yeah. For the rock thing? Okay, I'm gonna go there. This is called Derailed Ingrid. But then, the other component, I'm gonna move on to the other component. Where are we on the timer? Time. Where are we? 12. 1.15. Oh no, oh my yeah. god. Okay, what I'm gonna do. I was hoping you went there, yeah. I was like, come yeah, on. I gotta blend less though. So what's this you dialing in now? So I don't have a wah. He's using a Morley power wah. Yeah. Right? I don't have a wah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna blend in a bit of a bit of a wah sound that's like an auto wah. Give us that count off when it comes. Oh my god. Oh no. Are you ready? So we're gonna hear Cliff. Oh, what a sound. Oh, God. Are you ready? No. It's gonna be so sad. One, two, three, four. Dude, he's in the right ballpark. I think maybe he needed a, a, a tad more mid from the park. Yeah, yeah. right. Oh, oh. Wow. right. Yeah, I don't know if the auto wah was the right choice. I just needed something to move yeah. because I don't have a real wah at my feet. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, yeah, it's doing it, isn't it? Yeah. There's also so correct much. Correct bass choice. Okay, thank you. It was you. the correct thank bass you. choice for sure. The amp sounds bang on. Uh, I feel like it could be drivier. I feel like it'd have more distortion, actually. And he's playing so dang hard, right? Oh. All that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, let us know in the comments. Did he pass or fail? Uh, Are you ready for the next oh one? God. Different vibe for this one. I was going to go for something drivey again, but I'm, I'm switching it up. I hope I'm switching it up anyway. Like yeah. Sweating over here, man. <laughs> I don't know what this is about. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, like doing a risque dance towards you. I mean, you, there was a period of time where you heard this in every guitar center yeah. in America, probably over, you know, in every PMT over yeah, here. Yeah. Right? What a great bass line, great sound. Where's your wall? Is it back at your house? It's at the oh, house. thanks a lot, Divine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it on a wall? Yeah. I think so. By this point, he was using a wall. It's interesting though, this one doesn't have the same, uh, in my mind, I have construed this to have a bunch of phaser and amp and, you know, I have like built this thing in my mind to yeah. be like complex. And when I hear it now, <laughs> I don't even want to say it. It doesn't sound as complex as it was in my head. Yeah. Like, we'll see. It sounds quite, yeah. Yeah. Um, like you'd be able to do it quite easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have that Stingray. 
We do grab right? the stingray. Grab the stingray. Because grab the stingray. Right? There've been oh sorry. There've been people that have said, you know, hey, how do you get a wall thing going? Without uh, spending a without spending ridiculous amount of cash yeah, on that. Yeah. Like a, as you know, as much as a car. The band's tool, obviously, bass player Justin, Justin Chancellor. Chancellor. Incredible bass line. So much of it is about his playing as well. So I'm gonna use, well. Does the timer need to start? Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Yes. Set. Go. Okay, so much of it is about his sound with his pick. Oh, that does not sound anything like it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn up all the knobs on the Stingray. Okay, so. That was, I was worried there for I was like, oh boy, he picked the wrong way. <laughs> no, we're at least in the ballpark. Ah, uh, he has yeah. this amazing. But it's not a direct sound, right? Mm -hmm. So again, we, yeah. we go into this amp world where, shoot, come on, Ian. Um, I'm gonna find an SVT, because it's just tried and true, it's what I know, maybe not what he used, right? Um, so I'm gonna find an SVT and a High cab. High likelihood though, High likelihood. Maybe. A lot of SVTs, yeah. Not quite right still it needs maybe a little bit more top that's all the top that this has though have you got top in here yeah so maybe i'll find it in you picked the right amp <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think it's okay um i'll maybe try just a tiny bit more drive as well and just maybe a touch more treble um he gets such a great sound it's a good sound I'm more worried about my hammer-ons, actually. <laughs> that was a good one. If I have a tiny bit more time, do I? How much time we got? You're on 136. Okay, I'm gonna put the smallest amount of room verb, because I have the time, the tiniest amount of room, and I'm gonna, and so I'm doing this to hear them. Yeah. The mix and the decay, right? And now I'm just gonna turn it down a touch. Five, ah, four, one more. Three, just a slight. Two, one, <sighs> okay, so just, so you got the SVT, yeah. you've got the music man. Yes. Right, bridge pickup, imagine it's a wall, right? <laughs> so you've yeah, got the Stingray, right. bridge pickup, um, going into an SVT modeler. Yes. And your EQ is just flat with treble boosted? No, let's see. The EQ, I won't change it, but I'll tell you what it is, right? The EQ um, mids pushed a bit, bass is flat, or at like at five. Yeah. Right? Mid is at eight. Treble, I ended up pushing to 7.5. And then uh, I didn't do anything with the cab. And then you've just got a bit of room mic on it. Yeah, I just have a, a bit of a, a bit of a bit of verb to just yeah. make it sound like it's in a space. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Here we go. I mean, I'm happy with it. Close. I think hard pass. Let us know in the comments what you think. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. I think that you're going to enjoy this one. Okay, I can't wait. I think wait. that you're going to enjoy it, at least for one reason. At least for one reason. <laughs> okay. okay. Here we go. Oh. Dude, I'm holding the right thing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. So cool. Crank the music up. Crank the music up. So good. Obviously, Rage Against the Machine, the great Tim Comerford. Yeah. What are you thinking? Bass is right. I mean, dude, I, I have made, I've slaved for days over a patch for this before, but I can't But you can't it, right? use it? No. Bring that shit in. <laughs> Bring it in, dude. Bring it in. Oh, I got it. Well, on. okay, I got to drop to D. Yeah. That's not including your two minutes. Sleep easy. <laughs> it's not included? No. I can do that beforehand? Yes. I can tune? Yes. You okay, can tune, All right, let's yeah. get down there then. Ready? Steady, go. Okay, so Scott, let me drop to D. Oh, okay, I gotta get my sleeve out of the oh, damn yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, right? dude. 
You doing anything down uh, here with the bass? So I am cranking bass and treble on this. I'm gonna compress it. Strings are dead as doornails, but that's okay. I'm gonna compress just a touch. It's gonna yeah. bring it kind of together, right? And then I am gonna go back to my tried and true. I'm gonna go back to SVT? Ampeg SVT. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it on a touch and I might blend it with clean. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that amp and cab back in, okay? Let's see. Oh, come on, Allison. Get to it. See, it's too drivey, right? Yeah. It almost sounds like there's not enough dry signal in it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these amps into a into a parallel path, right? So, well, basically all, all, all that means, all that means is I'm gonna drop them down. So now there's two signals running. The compressor's happening first, and now I have clean unaffected, unaffected. by the amps okay. in addition to another channel with Ooh. the amps. Am I blowing you up, Alan, level-wise? Everything's good. That feel, I mean, that feels exciting to me. I'm gonna just bump the drive of the amps back because it's like slightly too distorted. That gives me some character, right? Check it out, if I get rid of the amps. I mean, I don't know, his sound is pretty direct on it. I don't know. I will say this, dude, I like this better. Eight, ah. Seven, six, shoot! <laughs> ah. uh, I don't know, I don't know if I nailed it, um, but I will say that like, I like the combo of the dry and the amp together. Have you got a bit of drive on that at all? Just a touch? A hair. A hair. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to hear it? Yeah. Here we go. I think less mid. Maybe? Is he a little more mid scoop on here? Maybe so, maybe so. I'm happy with the top end response though. Yeah. I think it, although his might be a little cleaner. Yeah, like it might be a little cleaner and a little less mid-range. Yeah. Hey, you know, guess what? I'm gonna let you do this challenge, dude. Whoa. I'm gonna pass the pace. No way. No way. But let me just say though, man, you you actually have amazing ears for this stuff. My mother said so. You <laughs> do. You do. You do. <laughs> I, like I feel like I feel like I need your consultation. I need you as a lifeline. <laughs> but you're like you're the Can grim reaper, friend. dude. You're the grim reaper yeah. right now. It's the yeah. worst. And yeah. then afterwards, you're like, oh, I think you should have sprinkled a little less <laughs> mid range on it. God. <laughs> I'm like, what happened to my friend Scott? <laughs> <laughs> Devil. I am today. Uh, I am today. I am yeah, today. Yeah. So, okay. How about this? Just for fun, obviously, fail. <laughs> duh. But what if I did do that? What if I did slightly less drive still? And what if I bumped mid range back a healthy bit? Will this please Let's you? Let's do it. Grim Reaper. <laughs> Huh? 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 <laughs> huh? <laughs> I nearly fell over. I thought that would have been yeah, tough. Yeah, I mean, good call. Great bass tone. Yeah. It is a great bass tone. It's so cool. Yeah. And I mean, most of it, honestly, is a stingray. Yeah. It'd be really hard to get that sound going on a P bass, like the character of the top end of Could the Could you do it with the jazz bass? bass, or is it? I just don't think the, the character of that bright top would be right. It needs this. Do you want to hear it on a jazz bass? Give it to me on a jazz bass. <laughs> yeah, 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 Gav wants to hear it on a jazz. All right, here we go. I don't know, maybe it'll be great. And in fact, he went to jazz bass for a while. Yeah, I don't think that's it, is it? It's, it's not quite it. Different top end. Yeah. Di yeah, just wildly and different. This is almost now too mid-scooped for me. It's because you've got the two pickups and you've yes. got that natural mid scoop yes. jazz creation. And then I'm scooping yeah. in the amp and it seems sort of polite. Yeah. Sounds like Marcus Miller a little more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like funkier. Yeah. Not quite the rock vibe. You might need this bass for the next one. <laughs> okay. You might, but you might not. Are you ready? God, I don't know. Yeah. Here we go. All right. This, I think this might be a really hard one. 
Okay. Here we go. Oh, you bastard. Dude, it's Mike Starr. Yeah. Allison Chains. Spectre NS2. Yeah. I've Just grab the Spectre, dude. <laughs> yeah, where's the. I mean, little little we, trip back to Minneapolis. <laughs> we have a Spectre over there, but it's not the right. You know what? You know what? Give me that Spectre. You want the Spectre? Yep, give me that Spectre. This is witty. <laughs> this is My a word. full piece of American a lumber, dude. Full base. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Allison Chains off yeah. of Dirt, Wood, Mike Starr on this. Yeah. Playing an old Kramer era Spectre, Spectre. NS2. PJ? PJ. You have got two soap bars I, and just to be really transparent here ian has not played this bass once I have not. and i told him not to turn the volume up when he plugged it and i was like do not to because i want to see because you've never played the bass we actually don't even know whether this bass even works at the minute we've not <laughs> yeah. even heard it You're so like, like is there a battery in it we don't know yeah we don't know so we're gonna find out we're gonna i'm gonna play that i'm gonna play one more time hang on though for everybody so they can hear it and then i want to see you just dive in here's the deal here's the deal it is down a half step do i have your permission to tune the bass down to e flat yes but you have to do it silent though you have to do it okay i'll do it silent yeah, that's do fine it, do it silent i don't need to hear the bass before we jump into this right this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Might be a terrible choice. Just because it says EMGs on it, right? Doesn't yeah, necessarily. Yeah. Agulas. Agulas on this. What? Agulas. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I mean, the Aguilars are great, but not what I was expecting. So you got the Spectre. You grabbing the pick? I'm getting a pick You're ready. Getting the pick. I'm in the right tuning. Yeah. I'm gonna try to figure it out. I'm gonna try to dial it in on the bass. First, but then I know where I'm gonna go here. Ready for you two minutes. Yes. Ready, steady, go. Here we go. So first, let's hear the bass. Does it make sound? Ah, Ooh. see, cool, right? Active, even just one note. Now I'm not satisfied with that, but that's like some kind of mid or bass. Oh yeah, we don't, don't know what the controls do. Yeah, yeah. Either. Okay, volume, volume, then like treble, bass. So I'm gonna boost that bass because it's satisfying. I've got the treble cranked. Both pickups on? Maybe I'll favor. I'll just favor the neck slightly. And now I need to find some kind of amp situation. Let me again. guess. Is it gonna be an SVT? <laughs> it is sure it gonna is. Be an SVT? It sure is. You know what? Because it's what I know. Now there might be a better thing in here. No, it but sounds like this is what I know. So we're gonna go here. Love it. But it's like slightly midier, maybe slightly toppier. I can play it again if you want to hear it. That's a little too much top potentially. Yeah, play it one more time. Yeah, here we go. Great. So interesting, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I've got like too much top on it. Is it high mid? Gosh. Okay, how can I get rid of that? Maybe I'll try to accomplish that. Oh, wait, hold on. How long we got? How, how are we doing? 50 seconds. Oh, we've got 15. Oh. Uh, I'll try to accomplish I rec pulling some of this down in the cab. That's the two minutes. I think that's really close. Do you want any more time? <laughs> oh, now are we changing the rules, are we? Well, no, we've gone back time. to two minutes. <laughs> You've got a couple of passes. I realized, you know what I realized? I had the amp and the cab out of order. I was going into the cab first and then the <laughs> never <amp>. works. <laughs> and it actually didn't sound bad to me. Maybe, maybe I'm just an maybe I'm just an idiot. <laughs> you are but not. You I are flipped not. it around. I think, I mean, in the time I had, this is as close I could as I could come. I think the active bass with a bunch of treble into an amp is kind of a cool character. Yeah. It's definitely not like a passive jazz, passive P kind of sound. Yeah. yeah. It's that like early 90s 
active amp. So cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I nailed it, but I love I I love this. I almost don't even want to nail. This is like a white whale for me, kind of. This you know like, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, oh, it's you don't so ever want to achieve it. It's like, yeah, I feel like there's a compression on this that's really interesting too that I didn't even try. But whatever, yeah, play it. Here we go. Oh. He's playing hard too. He's playing like. There's too much. so much scratch on yes. the sound. It's like, I think he's like been slinging. So if you don't know, if you like sling a bass all the way down here and you're using a pick. Yeah, right. The, the angle of the pick is going to do this. Let yes. me play it one more time so you guys can hear this. And it's actually less drive than I have here too. I mean, I want to I want to keep messing with it. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. Such a cool one. Yeah, so, yeah, so cool like man. a little more scrape, right? So a lot of this too, yeah. right, as we're finding out, as yeah. I'm finding out, as your great ears are hearing, seriously, dude, and talking know. about like some of its technique, right? It's like, yeah. because it's certainly not this, right? I think as well, for whatever reason, it sounds like he had, I don't want to say it, it sounds like the... The strings that are light strings. Maybe, but it feels like it, high action because he's, not, it, it's he's not getting a lot of like fret rattle. Yeah, it's something. It sounds like there's like a lot of flexibility in the strings or something. God. It doesn't sound like a pole. Do you know, like really heavy strings. Are you ready for the next one? Oh Come my on. God. Let us know in the comments. Did he pass? Did he fail? Taken to school here. Yeah. Gav, help me. Here we go. Dude, Davin, oh. help me. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Dude. I know. I mean, Muse Panic Station. You won't get much closer to the sacrifice Oh. Do we have his bass? I mean, I think we I, like, do. I looked at the screen, I was like, <laughs> do we have his <laughs> Wait a minute. We, we have his bass. <laughs> I wonder which one you That's gonna great. Use. Well, God, now if I can't do it, like, what does that say about me? <laughs> We've got the bass. We've got the bass. Yeah, late 70s jazz. <laughs> Where are you going God. with this? Where are you going with this? Uh, uh, It'd be great to oh wait, see that, what amp is, because this is live, actually. This is live, Radio 1 Live Lounge. His rig, though, is the thing of unicorn secrets. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I feel like it's backstage, and it's mic'd, and people have sprinkled, you know, fairy dust on it, yeah. and it's like, <laughs> it's there's a vibe, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, it's just an excuse for me not knowing how to get it, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, pull up the SVT again. And, uh, but I have one, I do have one thing that I think. But dude, like, I think it's really valuable that, you know, every time you're like, oh, SVT, well, we're talking about the 10 greatest rock, rock. baselines. Yeah. Uh, they're maybe not the greatest, but they're freaking Of course. They're great. And yes. the, the reality is that SVTs are used all of the time. That's for this true. Music. That, thank you for that. I appreciate you. So it's, appreciate it's, you. You're absolutely doing the right thing. Now, so yeah, now you're, you're the angel and the devil on my shoulder, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this is that it's like, yeah, it's jazz bass, but it's still unique. So unique. Like nothing about this sounds like Marcus Miller. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Right. Oh. And. Man, it's complex because there's, I hear some dry and then a pretty actually gritty amp saturated underneath yeah. the dry. Yeah. And and then th there's, I feel like there's a little bit of secret sauce at the end. Do you know what I've just realized? What? This is like wine tasting for bass <laughs> players. I used to watch the program with my mum and she'd be like, 
<laughs> and they'd like spit it, and they'd be like, I think there's a, a, an element of grape and a bit, a bit of wood in it. Like, yes, yes, yes. Like, 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 some like, bramble berries, some exactly, anise. Exactly. <laughs> yes. A bit of salt. I don't know if there's any salt in wine. Who knows? But anyway, you get my point. This is awesome. Anyway, yeah. as you were, where are you going with this? Um, well, I've got a jazz You've bass. You've got the jazz. What yep. are you doing with the pickups? I'm going to go full on. We're in tune. That's cool. We're going full on uh, both pickups for now. And then once the timer starts, um, I've actually played the bass line before, so I don't need to spend the time trying to actually like work out the bass line. Yeah. Uh, but when the timer starts, I have an idea of what I'm going to do. I'll talk you through it as I go. Yeah. Is that Ready? cool? Yeah. Ready for the timer? Yeah. Ready, steady, go. Here we go. So I'm going to compress first. Then I'm not even going to check those settings. I think it pulled up something cool. And I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm going to get that SVT out. You know yeah. I am. Yeah. Right? So amp first this time, Ian. Huh? Good call. Instead of the cab first. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, and then I'm going to go, here's the cab. Great. Now, I'm going to put those again in a parallel path. I'm not even hearing it right now because I feel like this is the move. Oops. Come on, dude. Here we so go. You got the SVT. Time. Yep. I've got an SVT in a separate path. Yeah. And then I'm going to bring them back together again. And then this is the secret sauce. I'm gonna put on a bit of chorus. Ooh. Yes, because I definitely hear modulation. Now, I don't know if he's using chorus, but I hear something in the back end of this, like a slow chorus. Yeah. Um, not too much of it, but now, okay. Now, I haven't even played it. I just dialed it up by feel. Wild. Uh, and let's just see how close it is. Hit me. Huh? It's somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, Ian. Oh, come on, Allison. <laughs> okay, it's too much chorus. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to dial back the chorus. I'm going to dial up the drive because we need that amp to be driving, right? Yes. And then he's like, or is it no? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> yeah, is where is it going? Is it that? Yeah, does M2? Ah! You can't be playing! <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, call it! <laughs> Scott's trying to work it out. It's a bass teacher. I don't know. Dude. It's a player in you. You were like, I got to find it too. Um, it I think it's... From behind the neck, Allison. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, I think it's this. I think you yeah, were right. It's this, yes, yeah. right? Um, yeah. So what a great bass line. And then he's like, what? Then this... Uh, zen, zen. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, ah! I've tried to play this line a few, it's like maybe brutal. like last year or something like that. It yes. is the amount of real estate that you've got to cover yes. in the tiny amount of time that you've got <laughs> yeah, to. It's horrible. It's horrible. Should we listen to him playing it again? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, way more mid range yeah. than I put in. Oh, that amp. The bottom end's not there, actually. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling like the bottom end's sort of like, it's not traditional. It's not got that, ooh. It's like sub bottom. It's all right. like hot oh. and like top end. Yeah. I know what you mean about the modulation, though. There is something oh. on it. There, it sounds like just a bit of chorus on it. Yeah. Dude, it's so good. Teacher, will you allow me, bass guru? Yeah, dude, will okay. you allow me to just try a tiny amendment? Do it to the sound. Do it. I'm gonna yes. bump drive even a touch more. I'm gonna bump mid range a lot. I'm gonna pull bass back, and I'm gonna dial. I don't know what to do with the treble. Maybe nothing. Um, and I'm gonna hear this again. It less chorus though, right? Less chorus. You want me to just take it off? Mm. What if I took it off? I like it, but yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce it down to about twenty percent, 
Well, the and chorus. Then, yeah. Yeah. Well, the chorus. I just want to start talking. Like, chorus. More, I spend more time with you, and I just start to talk like you. All right. Uh, I'm also going to reduce treble just a touch. Uh, that's hard. Is it less bass as well? Let's hear it again. Oh, God. <laughs> this is how we like, you know, oh, give it a bit cool. more. Yeah. So if you've ever if, wondered how we talk about tone, this is it. I mean, what if I pulled down the dry sound a bit? No, I don't know, man. It's getting there. It's tricky. This one is tricky. Yeah. It's like there is so much mid-range from the amp that's so happening. So interesting as well. You listen to all of the ones with the distortions and stuff like that. Yes. You instantly think it's going to be trickier. Oh, there's drives. There's, you know, it's going to be trickier. And this might be one of, other than Tool, maybe the cleanest. Oh, there was Pink Floyd as well. Yeah. But this is one of the cleaner sounds. Yes, it but is. But tricky. It is yeah. tricky. I mean, I'm, I feel like I've, every time I'm just trying to zero yeah, in yeah. on it. I mean, and dude, honestly, this is the this is the process. Yeah. So like of yeah. dialing in sounds, guys, this is the process. Hopefully at home, you'll have more than two minutes. You'll be whipped by a <laughs> taskmaster. <laughs> God. You should get little egg timers, you know, like, no. <laughs> with my face on it. <laughs> uh, but it's really fun to try to do and I mean it's interesting to sort of like you know how you can transcribe notes right we're transcribing mm -hmm. lines from bass players you can also transcribe sounds where literally you're thinking about the tools at your disposal you don't have to have this you can have an amp you can have something really simple how do you change your hands how do you change you know maybe you need to change your strings what do you need to change to get closer to that sound to nail that target and you know we're focusing a lot on this today but it is also about your hands, your instrument, right? And like yeah. how to play the thing. Yeah. And then the end of it, sort of the frosting on the cake, right? Is like, oh, the degrees of dry. It takes time. It really it takes does. time, yeah. yeah. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Do you want to zero it out? Yeah. Now this next one, we can't use the original. Oh, it's killing me because it's blocked on YouTube. So our video will be pulled if we use it, but I found them playing live and I still think it retains the, the spirit and the character of the original recording. Jumping in, Faith No More, oh. all into pieces. Oh my God. Billy Gould. How is he even playing that? I'm looking at it, that's cheating, right? It's so... I, I remember... I remember as a kid thinking like, it's A, but it's, but it's like... Yeah! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> oh! And and again, he played aria. I think I think that's an aria. In it's an aria. It looks like an aria to me. Yeah. Um, and then he moved to Zahn in the later years. But this was also sort of like unobtainium, unachievable sound, dude. Crazy sound. I'm gonna Crazy say, sound. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna say pass. Oh, no, God! I, I can't say pass, right? You can't say pass, dude. You can't say... And I've got no idea how he's getting his tone either. I've got I don't no know. Yeah. Um, part of me is... I but just... if I had a friend... If I, <laughs> if I had a friend that happened to be a bit of a dab hand with dialing sexy bass tones, I'd maybe put this bass line in front of him and say, how's he doing that? But you're not my friend today. Ah. Obviously, dude. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, I'm gonna get the closest thing to that sort of bright vibe, which is the Stingray. Yeah. Again, I wish it had, <laughs> I wish the strings were like a little brighter um, because he has such bright, so yeah, it's like, blame it on the strings, Allison. <laughs> yeah, only, you know, what is the like? The strings were just a couple of gauges of light. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> then I could do it. Um, yeah. um, I mean, it almost feels like he's like moving his, oh, I, I How is he? I don't know. Um, I feel like we could maybe watch the video and see, but like, yeah, it could be that, right? It could be like, oh God, this isn't in tune. Tune it up, Ian. So. Right. But it's bright with all this drive on it and. Do you know what I think he's doing? So to go down the plane route for a minute, I think yes. it's, he's not really bending it, he's going. 
What? He's like pulling the neck twice. It almost sounds like A, B flat, A, B flat, A, right? And on the video that I'm seeing right now, is he actually hammering it on? Dude, he's going like this. Sounds so bad, this is it. Doesn't sound good on this either. Oh, but he's not slapping. He's he's hitting it, right? He's hitting it and he's and he's actually, yeah. Ready, steady, go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna compress. So I feel like on, honestly, everything you hear on a record is compressed. It helps the whole thing sit. Guess where I'm going? That's SVT. <laughs> AC th box. <laughs> uh, I know. I mean, I hate that I'm doing this no, so much, it but is, really, it's what he, he, it's, he'll have used one. Uh, let's see. I don't know what he used, right? But um, and he's not slapping, and that's cheating because I saw him. I always thought he was like hitting it. Yeah. Right. He he sometimes would slap back here too. Oh, really? Yeah. Like. Oh, cool, right? Love it. Love it. I mean, I always thought too with Billy Gould, I'm just remembering his um, signal chain or like the sound of his bass on that record from the 90s. And I'm gonna put on just a touch of phaser. Mm -hmm. That might not be the right call, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna put just a touch of modulation. Um, we're gonna go back here. We'll find just a straight up super simple phaser. I'm gonna mix it in just a touch. Oh, so you can just have the dry signal through the SVT to have a little yeah. hair. Just a hair. Hair. A Rizzler. Yeah. A Riz Is, you know a Rizzler? No, am I, no. Am I gonna get canceled now? <laughs> no, I no, it? no, you can say Rizzler. <laughs> we can say Rizzler, right? A little Rizzler of, uh, it's a, a cigarette paper. When you roll in. <laughs> ah, right, yeah, just, yeah. A, just a thin bit of paper. Yeah, a little thin bit. <laughs> Do you want to do anything with EQ? Maybe scoop a little mid? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to listen to you because you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Seven, six, okay, wait, wait, wait. I need more top two. I need more, less mids, two, more bass. One, Let's do it. I liked how you were doing it too, like this. It's really like low action, so it's kind of like. Yeah, or like thin strings or something. Yeah, it's like, it's like rattling there, against yeah. the bass. Yeah. Now, are you ready for the final one? Oh, yeah. This is a classic, God, dude. Okay. This is a classic. You might have the right bass for this, huh? Okay. You might have the right bass for this. Let's go. <laughs> I mean. One of the best ever. One of the best ever. One of the best bass tones ever. Yes. What bass is he using? Stingray? No, he's no. using a wall. Ooh. Where's oh, your yeah. wall? Oh, yeah. Can I grab your wall right quick? No, because you left it at home. You a hole. <laughs> Dude, but you know what? He's, I love that he's playing a Stingray in the video. I think he is anyway. Yeah, right. And yeah. also, like, it's cool that we don't have the wall, actually. Yes. Right? Because, because people watching probably won't have a wall. They've probably got a P, <laughs> I'm holding this, a P bass, or a jazz bass, yeah. or a Stingray. Walls are like the bougiest bass. I mean, Bougie. I can say that because we both we both have one. Yes. Actually. Yes. And, I, and I think a Stingray, obviously, for Flea is a great choice. Um, I can tell you what, before I start to dial it up, let me just say this. I could bust out a similar chain uh, of SVT, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go a different amp route for this because he's GK. Oh. And I'm gonna find that and I'm gonna see if I can get close to that kind of crunch. You're gonna go with GK? I am. I am gonna do that. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I am. Cause I wanna switch it up. Yeah, do it see. dude. Now I might fall on my sword and fail horribly. Miserably. I do not think you will. No. Do you wanna zero out yep. and do the thing? Yep, zero Beautiful. it out. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Ready? Steady. Go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna compress every every sound that you've heard on a record. 
is compressed. I'm gonna compress first. And something you do actually, you have a compressed sound on everything you do, don't you? Uh, yeah, I like to run a compressor a lot yeah. on uh, just a little bit, not all the time, right? Yeah. A hair. A rizzle. <laughs> yes. Now I'm gonna find, oh God, what's it called in here? It's not Aqua. I don't think it's Cali. G Cougar 800. That's gotta be it. That's the badger. Okay, so I'm gonna dial that up. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't look so inspired there. <laughs> That's all right. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep tweaking. I'm going to turn up the drive a touch on it. It's too much bass. It's potentially too much level. I don't know, Alan, if you can tell me if that's too much level. But uh, let's see. It's all good. That's kind of cool, right? That's, yeah. That's kind of cool. Did he use a GK on this? Do we know? I think he had GKs mic'd up in the studio for this. Let us um, know in the comments if you know as but well. But I'm just looking at it. It's actually run through the SVT 810 cab. That's just what comes up here. Yeah. So it's a GK800. GK. Yep. Through the, through the yeah. 810 cab. And check it out. I've got the contour on. If I turn the off. The contour on is kind of nice. Yeah. It scoops the mid-range a touch. Uh, I'm gonna keep mics where they are. I'm just now gonna play with... Um, I like this. Seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, two, two five. one. I feel, <laughs> I feel good with this, actually. Yeah? Yeah. There's a lot of bottom end there. There is. When you were dialing, I was like, mm, too, too much bottom. bottom. Let me play along. Keep going. Yeah, it's maybe a, like slightly drivier than fleas, but I'm I'm hard pass, dude. Hard pass. Oh God, thank you. <laughs> hard pass. Hey, thanks so much for today. I'm gonna go take a nap. It has been freaking awesome. <laughs> fun, this has man. been awesome. And hey, while we've got you, please in the comments let us know. Did you like this style of content? Should we make more like this? Should Ian? Throw himself out there. Oh, should no, should I make you do it? <laughs> should I do it? Let us know in the comments, maybe. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We will read every single one of them. And as always, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.